I feel sorry for anybody that had to order this fight. This shit was trash. So Deontay Wilder versus Tyson Fury. This fight was heavily hyped. A lot of promos, WWF style hype for this fight. It did not live up to the expectations at all. I'm really disappointed. But I don't feel that bad because I did not pay to watch it. I was able to watch this through Facebook. Somebody was recording the fight through their phone. It was nice enough to share it with people like me who was not going to go pay and see it. Even going to Hooters or Wing House where they would charge $20 a head, I'd rather watch it for free on Facebook. Got till about the 8th round and Facebook shut it down. <laughs> so I wasn't able to see the rest of the fight, but I did see the highlights of it. And from what I was seeing, I think Wilder was really overwhelmed by Tyson Fury's skills. A guy that big, 6'9", I forgot how much he weighed. Tyson Fury moves like a welterweight. He was on his toes, he was jabbing, he was moving. And Wilder's never faced anything like that. He's never faced a man that much bigger than him. Never faced a man with that much much skill and technique. So you can tell for the first few rounds, Wilder was really frustrated. He couldn't he couldn't find his shots. He, he couldn't find his rhythm. And Tyson was picking him apart. And you can see as the rounds went on, Tyson started getting more comfortable. He had his hands behind his back. He was smiling. He was having a good time. And Wilder was frustrated. The only problem is... I don't remember any punches being landed. I don't remember anybody laying a glove on anybody. It was a lot of swinging, a lot of holding, a lot of dancing, a lot of stalking. But I didn't see any connection. And it wasn't until I think the fifth or sixth round, between rounds in the corner, where I saw Deontay Wilder had a mouse under his eye. But I'm thinking, when the hell did he get hit? Because there were no punches landed. I'm so happy that I did not spend money on this fight. And people wonder why... Uh, boxing is trash, boxing is, is in the shitter because they charge top dollars to see shitty fights. Back in the day, it was reversed. You really didn't have to pay anything to watch a fight, and the fights were epic. Like, I, I'm a child of the 80s, so growing up, HBO was free. I think a majority of us growing up in the 80s had free HBO, so we were able to watch Mike Tyson annihilate motherfuckers for free. It wasn't until Don King came in with his greedy ass, and boom, pay-per-view boxing is born. But it just, I think it really messed up the sport because now there's not a whole lot of boxing fans. I mean, there are boxing fans out there, but not like how it used to be because now you have to really pay to watch this shit. And when you pay to watch something like that, like Tyson Fury, Dante Wilder, as a paying customer, I would be frustrated because the fight was trash. Now, like I said, I stopped watching around the eighth round because Facebook shut it down. But then I was able to see the highlights and I saw that Wilder had dropped Tyson in the ninth round and in the twelfth round. Okay, the twelfth round knockout, I, the knockdown I seen, and I didn't think Tyson was getting up. Like he laid there for a minute, like shit, like this guy hits hard. But the boxing gods were on his side. He was able to get up. He finished the fight, and it was announced to be a draw. A lot of people said Tyson was cheated. I disagree with that. I respect the judges' decision. I feel like it was a draw because yeah, even though. Tyson outboxed Deontay Wilder like every round pretty much. Wilder did win a couple of rounds and then plus with those knockdowns that should really count because he was a short and curly away from being knocked out. So I feel like the knockdowns really helped Wilder and he did win a couple of rounds. Tyson won majority of the rounds but because of those knockdowns I do agree that it should have been a draw. Do I want to see a second fight? No. I still want to see Wilder and Joshua but from what I've seen tonight, how Wilder would do with the real skilled technical boxer, I think Joshua will present a lot of problems to him because Joshua is technically sound as well. And he hits a lot harder than Fury, in my opinion, because Joshua is a knockout artist. So I feel like Deontay Wilder would have a really hard time with Joshua. I think he's going to have to go back to the drawing board and really sharpen his skills because, like Lennox Lewis said, his main weapon is that right hand. That's like all he has in his arsenal. But if you're going to fight... A boxer like Joshua Tyson Fury, you have to have more more weapons in the arsenal, man. You can't just have that right hand and live and die by that. Yeah, it dropped, it dropped Tyson twice, but you're losing every round. I'm a big Deontay Wilder fan. I wanted him to win this fight. 
but I was impressed by Tyson Fury's performance. Everybody counted him out. I do like an underdog story. He he even though I think he was the favorite, but he was still an underdog because he took some time off. He had the depression thing going on, you know, and the weight gain, and this was like his really his real comeback fight. So how can you not root for a guy like that? So I respect what he did. He really looked poised and comfortable in there. And I mean, personally, I think that I think the fight should have been a draw because he did get dropped and he you know he almost lost. He almost got knocked out. So that's my opinion on it. Tyson, I mean, um, Wilder and Joshua has to happen now. This fight has to happen. I think Joshua would feel more comfortable now seeing that Wilder somewhat got exposed, and I think he'll be more uh, confident now to fight him, whereas before I think he was just scared. He was ducking. He was shook. I don't care. I call a spade a spade, but I think now he's going to feel more comfortable about this and say, okay, let's make the fight happen. That's my half-assed British accent. Yeah, I think Wilder really needs to really probably do like Creed and go to Mexico or something, uh, retool his whole game and come back different because if he comes out with that live and die by the right hand, he's going to get fucked up. That's my opinion on it. So guys, that's my take on the fight. I think it was trash, but I do uh, respect Tyson Fury's uh, skill and his, his performance. I thought his performance was good. The fight was just trash. And thank you to the people on YouTube, not YouTube, but Facebook, for shutting the fight down for us. Uh, thank you. I hope you're proud of yourselves. I hope you slept good at night, you know, because you cheated some fans out of watching a fight. But luckily, it was a terrible fight, so I didn't feel too bad about it. So, guys, that's my two cents on it. What are your guys' thoughts on the Tyson Fury-Deontay Wilder fight? Do you think Tyson Fury was robbed? Do you think Deontay Wilder really got exposed? Comment freely below. Thank you for watching. As always, this is Rashad G signing out. See you in the next video.